guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Michigan Great Outdoors. On this week's episode, we're going to do a product review on the Tacticam 5.0. Let's get stuck in. So a little disclaimer about this product review. I am not sponsored, affiliated, or have any connection with Tacticam at all. In this video, what I want to do is help the average guy, just like me, make a decision whether or not you want to invest in the Tacticam. Alright, so here's the Tacticam 5.0 Hunter Package. I went with the gun and crossbow kit. So inside that kit, it comes with the underbarrel mount for the Tacticam as well as the Picatinny rail. Um, I've yet to try this out, but it looks pretty nice. We're going to do some uh, filming with that. This works very well. It's very well built. It's solid, um, I believe, aluminum. It comes with two different Allen keys, so you can adjust your mounts here. So you get different uh, Allen heads in there. Obviously, the Tacticam 5.0, very sleek, very lightweight. 5.0 Ultra HD, very sleek, very lightweight. It's got a locking cap here in the back, so you unlock it and then you slide it to the left. It's got little indicators here to show you if it's locked or unlocked, and then you got your battery pack. So we got one battery in here. Unfortunately, it does not come with the micro SD card. So I know Tacticam had some promotions where you could get the micro SD. I bought it from my local archery shop and they did they weren't running that promotion. So I had to buy this separate. So that just goes in like so, clicks in, battery goes in, put your cap back on, and then lock it. And you're good to go. Comes with the USB charging cable, a little power cube, comes with a little microfiber wipe here, and then the instruction manual, which is actually a really good manual very detailed shows you everything how your mini usb how to charge and then it goes step by step through all the different directions how to use it how to set up the app on your phone it's really a good manual i'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with this manual and this is what you get also what comes with this tact cam is a felt pouch which i've seemed to misplace i've had this for a little while Specs on it, it's just under four and a half inches long with a diameter of just over an inch. It's very lightweight. You can see the lens there. You got your power button and then you got your different mode buttons which we'll get into in a little bit. It's very sleek, it's waterproof, weatherproof. It's just, it's surprisingly lightweight. I'm very shocked at how light it really is coming in at 3.2 ounces we have our aluminum under barrel mount so for a whole camera kit and the battery is inside of this we're at 6.2 ounces that is lightweight that is really nice picatinny rail even less obviously there's less meat on there i also bought the universal GoPro mount that goes to it so it comes with two different rubber sleeves so you can take your tech cam you can mount it in here and then it uses the GoPro mounting system so you can basically attach it to any GoPro mount and then I also bought a spare battery I thought that'd be very important to have while in the field in hunting situations so it's pretty lightweight so it won't add too much weight to my overall pack so I'm happy about that as well all right, so in order to connect to your app, you gotta turn the Tacticam on, so you do that by touching the button. The green light will blink. It'll vibrate, letting you know it's on. Now the green light is blinking, that means it's recording, so we're gonna pause the recording. And then we're gonna hold this button down for three seconds and the Wi-Fi light will come on. See the little blue Wi-Fi light blinking? So then we're gonna go into our Wi-Fi settings. So, Tacticam 5.0, we're going to connect to it, and then we're going to launch our app. We're going to check on our uh, camera here. That's zoomed in. But you can see, it sees me. <laughs> so we can change our mode here. We'll go to mode one, hit OK. So that zooms us out. 
And take the lighting in here with a grain of salt. It's not the, pro the best lighting right now. So here's an actual uh, view of what I'm viewing. All right, so we showed you how the app can see different things. So now if you want to hit record. So now we're recording. So what we'll do is we'll loop that playback so you can see this recording with the Tacticam. So this is what I'm actually making this video on. Sony RX-10 Mark IV. Kind of looking at some stuff in the man cave. My grandfather's old recurve bow. Steve Eiserman, the Detroit legend. I'm about a foot away from this turkey feather here, and it's pretty blurry. Um, but that's not really... The intent of this camera is not to be taping something up close. The intent of the camera is to get that deer, that turkey, or elk, or whatever you're trying to hunt on film. So let's take it outside and uh, see what it looks like. All right, so here's 25 yards. All right, so here's my backyard. And we're gonna see the image stabilization as we walk to this gun range here. And I'm just holding this tactic cam. So we're about 25 yards away from this gun range right now. We'll go ahead and change modes. Alright, so now we're in the blue mode, which is zoomed in to 8x, and you can see the same spot we were just in, 25 yards away from the gun range, and how zoomed in it is. And just looking here on the, the app on my phone, the image clarity is unbelievable. Very surprised how clear that is. Little trail there that goes back into the woods. My birdhouse is there. Back to the gun range.
All right, well, hopefully you're still with me and you enjoyed the raw footage of shooting the bow, the 12 gauge, and the 22 long rifle. Hopefully that footage can help you decide whether or not you want to purchase the Tacticam 5.0. You know, in conclusion here, my thoughts on the camera. I, I think it's a good camera. The image clarity is unbelievable when you have it on a solid mount, but when you're walking around, the image stabilization isn't that great. So, you know, in a hunting situation, I think this camera, really, it's intended to capture that kill shot. It's intended to be on the bow or your firearm, your shotgun, your rifle or whatever, and you're steady aiming, you're holding real slow because you don't want to spook your game, and then you shoot. And as you can see in some of the shotgun videos, you know, that shotgun, I got a super mag three and a half inch, it really kicks hard, so you can see that camera moving around. Fortunately, in post-production, you can edit and slow it down and kind of save it. I don't think this is going to replace your standard camcorder or your DSLR, whatever you have on your camera arm in your tree or on your tripod when you're hunting. For me, I I'm glad I bought it. I it's going to be added to my arsenal of cameras. So I plan to run this Tacticam as well as my camcorder on my camera arm. And then I'm hoping to try to mount my GoPro somewhere on my bow looking back at me or in my tree if I have the ability to mount it in the tree uh, looking back. So I think that would create a good scene for future hunting videos, but we'll see. You know, this, this Tacticam, a lot of people like it. So far, I, I like it too. It, it seems very well built, and I think it was a good purchase, and I'm excited to put it in the arsenal this year. And, you know, I hope this video helped you, you know, maybe decide if you're on the fence about whether or not you want to get the Tacticam 5.0. I didn't list all the actual specs, but I'll put them in the description of the video. All that information's online. You can go on Tacticam's site. It's, they, they do it better than I would do it. They have it all listed there on their site, all the different specifications. For me, I'm glad I purchased this. If you like videos like this, if you like the page, please subscribe. I appreciate the support. We're going to continue to make product review videos on products that I use, that I trust, and I have some products that I'm going to review that they didn't pass the test. So we're going to share those as well to try to help, you know, everybody that watches this video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Whoa, look at that plane. That's awesome. Look at that. Whoa, that, whoa, look at the zoom. Look at the zoom. All right, time to get back to business.